What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spizzles. I'm Simone bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spizzles, a merch collection, get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the flower dye crew neck. And lastly, guys, if you have not done anything else, Turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming live. Boom, 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 boom. You don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. But y'all, you have seen the title. You have seen the thumbnail. Let's get into it. So Bradley Beal. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, Bradley Beal. We knew like Bradley Beal was probably going to get moved. We didn't know where he was going to get moved. So it was reported last week that the Suns and the Miami Heat were interested in Brad. Whoa, well, they were the top two contenders to land Bradley Beal, and it was the Suns that ended up landing him. But y'all, Bradley Beal had a no trade clause, so he waived the no trade clause for the Suns. But it was reported that the Kings made an offer, the Bucks made an offer, and the um obviously the Suns made an offer, the Kings, the Bucks, and the Miami Heat. So he waived it for the Suns. But y'all, my thing is first and foremost. Why are the Sixers not engaged in this conversation? Like, why did the Sixers not even make an offer for Bradley Beal? Like, what? Like, we got to make a move. We got to make a big move this offseason. And it's just like, why wouldn't we even, like, field an offer? Because, like I said, the free agency market when it comes to guards is not good. There's no, like, there's no, there's no big needle movers on the free agency market when it comes to guards. And we know if James Harden leaves, then that's a big position that we're going to have to fill. So the fact that we weren't even engaged in the conversation, damn, we couldn't shoot a little text to the Wizards? We couldn't shoot a little text and a little phone call? Nothing? Like, what do y'all have planned? I don't want another offseason where it's no moves or subpar moves and we go into the season with uh, just hoping Joel and B can wheel us um, past the second round. And absolutely not. You see how the Miami Heat active, the, the Milwaukee Bucks. The fact that the Bucks were looking to add a, a piece like Bradley Beal when the Bucks, the way that their roster is already composed really is a is a is a is a contender obviously for number one in the east a contender for a championship as long as they have Giannis and drew and chris and that core they're already one of the top dogs so the fact that a top dog is gunning for a piece like bradley bill and the sixers are not is embarrassing but y'all some more stuff has come out okay so damian lillard apparently the miami heat now are the top team interested in landing dame lillard so this is really the easter conference can look really 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 different next season and i'm saying the sixers can't fall behind we need to be interested in dame hopefully be, the fact that we weren't interested in bradley bill hopefully means that we're interested in Dame Lillard making a trade for Dame Lillard. We have a big contract like Tobias Harris we can dump and offload and Portland can rebuild and whatnot. Um, if the Heat are interested, we need to be interested because we can't let the Heat keep surpassing us. We can't let the, the these other teams in the East continue continue to, to try to get to the championship, build championship rosters, actually compete. And we just, oh, we got Joel and B, we good, we're fine. We have to be in contention for these top dogs too. Because if the Miami, if the Milwaukee Bucks, so it was reported that the Heat are interested in Dame Lillard, as they were with Bradley Beal. But if the Milwaukee Bucks were interested in Bradley Beal, I guarantee you that the Bucks are interested in Dame Lillard as well. Since they missed out on Bradley, I guarantee you they're gonna be in the sweepstakes for Dame Lillard. So that's two teams in the Eastern Conference Final, two top teams that are already looking to add a, a, a next level, a superstar in Dame Lillard to their roster. So we already got the Celtics who are going to be back. Um, we're going to have to compete with. The Bucks are already going to be a team we're going to have to compete with and the Heat next season. And they're all looking to get stronger, much stronger. Well, I don't know. I mean, the Celtics weren't obviously in these conversations, but the Heat and the Bucks are two teams that were already – recently won a championship recently in um the finals recently e in the eastern conference finals why are we do why like why aren't we 
pushing to make a move and maybe they're there maybe we are maybe we are and it's just not being reported but the like i said the other top dogs they're 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 making it known what their goal is and that's championship that's championship so y'all this dame dame lillard is like a big shoe waiting to drop because again this this dame and also the kings were interested in bradley bill so i bet you the kings are probably interested in dame as well um he could end up going to the west but y'all the miami heat and the bucks if dame goes to one of those teams if dame goes to the heat or the bucks golly y'all i'm <laughs> we have to be willing to make a big move i don't know why i don't know why i do not know why i don't know why i don't know why we just want to just throw 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 and bead into the fire and we're just gonna ride and bead we're just gonna try to ride and beat we need another big piece if if a team that recently just won a championship in the in the milwaukee bucks isn't satisfied if a team in the miami heat who was just in the eastern conference finals and just in the nba finals isn't satisfied why are we satisfied as consecutive second round exits and second round upsets why but y'all let me know where you think dame lillard could end up because like i said woo -wee, woo -wee, woo -wee, woo -wee. also chris paul y'all because chris paul got traded to the wizards for the bradley in the bradley bill move but y'all know Chris Paul don't he be he don't be sticking and staying. Chris Paul stay on the move. So they were saying that Chris Paul might end up landing on the Clippers. Um, a reunion with the Clippers. And the Clippers have a good, a really good team if they're healthy. Um, I don't know about Chris Paul at this stage in his career. He he's he, he's injured a lot. Um, but would y'all do would you be interested in Chris Paul as a Sixers fan? At first, I was like, no. But then now looking at the landscape, if Bradley Beal's gone, if if Dame's gone, Chris might be the best we can get if we lose James Harden. And if we don't get Dame, and, if, and obviously Bradley Beal was an option, now he's moved. Would y'all be interested in Chris Paul? Let me know down below. I can see Chris Paul going to the Celtics. I can see, um, I think in the East, I really just see Chris Paul going to the Celtics. I can definitely see him going um, back to the Clippers. But y'all, let me know what you think down below. Where do you think some of these big names are going to move? Especially the biggest name, Dame. And then also Chris Paul. Where do you see him moving? Where do you see him landing? But y'all, let me know what you think down below. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check out the links down below. And until I talk to you guys next time. Bye.